Hello, welcome to another video. In this video, I'm making this tie-dye jogger and crop top set. I found this stretchy tie-dye fabric on sale at Hobby Lobby. Though it goes against my nature, I'm using this pattern because I'm not very good at making pants. I was delighted to get the supervisor's immediate approval. Here are my pattern pieces. And here they're all cut out. I wound my bobbin. bobbin, bobbin, bobbin. And prepped my machine. First, I attached my pockets to the pant fronts. Then, I top stitched them down. The supervisor interrupted for some preventative hairball control. Then I got back to work. I attached the pant fronts to the pant backs. To attach both pant legs, I flipped one inside out, slipped it inside, and pinned the center seam. I sewed the center seam shut and made cuffs for the bottom of the pants. I attached the cuffs to the pants and began measuring the elastic for the waistband. At this point, I realized I was running the risk of looking like a giant thing of cotton candy, but decided to forge ahead. I stitched the elastic and the waistband close, then sewed a channel around the elastic. I used my buttonhole foot to create openings for the waistband tie. and finished them with my seam ripper. I closed the tie channel, then finished attaching the waistband. I don't have a loop turner, so I used my pimple popper to run the waistband tie through the channel. and the pants are done. I based the top off of a tank top I already own. I lowered the neckline and added extra fabric to the sides. I began hemming the bottom of the shirt when the supervisor did another surprise check-in. I finished the bottom hem and closed the side seams. Then I sewed the channels for the ties. I 
I cut off the excess seam allowance. And again, used my pimple popper to pull the ties through. I finished the first armhole with a rolled hem. before taking an ice cream break. Then I finished hemming. Since this is a two-piece set, I think I'm technically qualified to be a double rainbow. I cannot believe it. top was done. After this decade of winter, I was feeling a bit like Lumpy Space Princess. These lumps! I know you want a slump up on these lumps. I figured I should take this outfit for a test run in the park. It's a place no American has ever been. The top of Mount Midoriya, the world's toughest obstacle course. There is no greater obstacle course challenge. Ultimately, decided it was better for binge-watching Bridgerton. Excessive pride suits you, Miss Bridgerton. Mm, pride is a sin, Your Grace. One of the lesser sins, but do not worry. It must all start somewhere.